Colonel Ralph Peters, 65, a retired U.S. Army officer and longtime contributor with Fox News, quit his job as a strategic analyst with the network in early Mar and made headlines when he sent his colleagues an email explaining his reasons for his resignation. In the email, Ralph said, Fox News was assaulting our constitutional order and the rule of law, and explained that when he first started to work with the network he was proud but now he is ashamed. In my view, Fox has degenerated from providing a legitimate and much-needed outlet for conservative voices to a mere propaganda machine for a destructive and ethically ruinous administration, he continued. His controversial words about Fox News has definitely put him in the public eye more so than ever before. Here are five things you should know about the military analyst and writer from Pennsylvania. 1. He enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1976, his first assignment was in Germany and he spent 10 years working in military intelligence before becoming a foreign area officer who specialized in the Soviet Union. He later went to the Command in General Staff College and had his last assignment at the Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff for Intelligence before retiring in 1998. Two, he is also a writer and has published numerous non-fiction books and novels. His first book was published in 1981 and in addition to using his real name for certain writing projects, he has written and published eight spy thriller novels under the pen name Owen Perry. One of his novels received the prestigious Hammett Prize while three other novels received the W.Y. Boyd Literary Award for Excellence in Military Fiction. 3. His Fox News coverage on President Barack Obama caused a tremendous amount of controversy and even got him suspended once in deck. 2015, he called President Obama a P asterisk SSY while live on the air and the network suspended him for two weeks. He often expressed harsh criticisms of the former president's foreign policy decisions as a way to get his independent views across. 4. He was a strong supporter of the invasion of Iraq in 2003 and Iraq War. He wrote an opinionated piece about his views for the New York Post called Dude, Where's My Civil War? in Mar. 2006 But by August 2006 his optimism turned into pessimism and he claimed the U.S. was threatened because the country failed to put the right amount of troops in to maintain order after the invasion. 5. He called for an assault weapons ban after the Parkland school shooting that made national headlines. He wrote about his opinion in the New York Post and explained that although he supports gun ownership and always will but thinks anyone who has an urge to fire automatic weapons should join the U.S. Army or the Marines as a combat infantryman where they will be paid for it.